So welcome to this next tutorial and today we're going to be looking at DCC inputs. Now in the last sort of tutorial I did I was showing how to send outputs to DCC EX. This time we're going to be looking at the incoming. So let's take a look at what's on the breadboard. So once again we have quite a busy uh, breadboard. Up here on the uh, top we have got a DCC accessory decoder circuit. I've just done a tutorial on that and I'll give you the link to it in a bit. And then we've got a project I was working on the other day which has got, uh, I'm using this ESP32 as an accessory decoder. It can turn on and off some LEDs, some MOSFETs, some uh, relays and a couple of other bits and pieces down here. And what we're now going to do is control this from my NCE controller because not everybody wants to use DCCEX. And uh, so this is the simplest way of getting a command out of your DCC controller and into NowRail. So if I select accessory number 1000 and uh, start clicking the buttons, you can see I've got an LED that turns on. And also, um, let's do that again. You'll see I've got this green LED here that pulsed. So let's just try and uh, do that again. So here comes the pulse. And that's representing a signal being sent from a standard pin to the equivalent of a relay um, as I've got bolted on here. Now if I select accessory 1006, he says, hang on, I don't use this system very often. Select accessory 1006. Now you know why I built my own panels. Right, here we go. You can just see that relay flicked on and off. And now as I go in the other direction, That relay flicks on and off. So what this is demonstrating is how you can get any DCC controller and get your inputs into the NowRail system. Now as you'll see this is going to be a very very short tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do is go onto the NowRail website. We're going to go to DCC controller input. There is the circuit diagram here that you need to build. And there's also a link here to the recent uh, video that I did with a full sort of walkthrough of how you literally build your circuit. So I'm not going to go through all that again. Uh, but what we're now going to do is go into the um, Arduino IDE and set this up. So here we are in the basic uh, now rail sketch. All I've done is saved a copy of the latest sort of 0.3 version. I've renamed it, um, I've given it the name NowRail 0.3 DCC in just for my own sort of sanity so I know what I'm doing. Now what we can do, we can get rid of loads of stuff. So again, put your mouse under the NowRail, go right down to the um, setup. You can delete all of that. We can then delete that one again. We're going to delete this. So on your first screen that is literally all you are left with. That's all you need to do. Go into your user setup. This is how easy it is. We go to DCC decoder pin 4. So on the ESP32 I'm currently connecting to pin 4 for my interrupt pin. We then uncomment this line. This is one bit time. To be honest, leave it as 130. There, and your system will probably work fine at 130. You can tweak this value. This has been tested with DCC EX and my NCE system, and it should work with any DCC system. If the DCC clock on your system doesn't quite work with this, you can tweak this number up to about 150. 
5160, but you shouldn't need to touch it. But basically, that's it. Compile that, send that to the board, and now what happens is that as the commands come in, um, now rail basically takes the DCC input, it reads the accessory decoder command, and it then transmits that over ESP now to whatever boards you want to see receive it. And that's it. As I said, it was going to be a very, very short tutorial. And what I'll do now is get on with documenting the last few functions of now rail. And then I want to get on to building some full projects so you can see how it should really work. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.